So you want a banana split, but you're all out of fruit and you're not very flexible. Well, welcome back to Test by Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at this material here, which is like a stone kind of, you know, stone brick looking kind of texture with a little bit of glossiness on it, which looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you look over here, it looks like there's kind of a lot of stuff going on, but it's actually not as complicated as you may think. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. So the first thing, let's, let's unhook, um, let's unhook these two for now so that's not even we're not even gonna pay attention to these we're just gonna move them down instead of unhooking them so i don't forget all right so essentially what we have is we have uh the noise texture no node so we have a noise texture going into the color ramp which is shift a search and then noise right there and then right here this color ramp shift a search um color ramp there you go um, what I did was I have the value on 6.9, all these values, whatever. Um, and this, the color of the noise is going into the uh, color ramp, which is going into two different mix shaders, but we'll get into that in a second. So essentially, um, what that looks like is this. So it just looks like this, basically, when you start. Um, I have, uh, it's just a really super simple kind of, oh, actually, wait, it's going to look like, okay, let's actually, let's actually not do that. And we'll just create a second one so I can show you exactly what it looks like base color and there we go okay so essentially what that looks like is just a super soft like yeah cloudy looking texture like this just to get a nice base um and then what i did was essentially i um i just kind of merged together two more of these so these both do something uh these both do something uh different so this one in the middle here this one's kind of like some sh some sharp scratches essentially so um this one right here you can see if I point out these uh, these hard little scratches here. So if I move this around, you can see they kind of get softer or harder. Um, but essentially, it's just it's basically just some some scratches. Um, it looked like it looked like this before, and then I kind of squeezed these values together, and then it looked like scratches, which is really really cool um, stuff. And these these values, uh, I turn the distortion up, so this one so because on zero it looks like this, it looks like splotches, which also looks really cool. You could leave it like this, but I kind of wanted them to be like you know scratches, so I, I turn it up to 0.7, and I think it looks cool um, right there. But it's just you know to each its own, obviously. Let's go ahead and move on down to the next one. The next one is basically the same thing, but it's like these bigger, darker areas. So this one right here, this one right here. You can see if I go ahead and move the scale. You can see it's kind of like these bigger splotchy areas the kind of like out of nowhere ones so like this one down here um this up here this down here you know it's these kind of ones um and then i just mix these together so essentially i just hit i just grab these two by dragging a box over top of them and it shift d to duplicate both of them like that and i just change the values up you know that's what i did and then i hit shift a and we'll search for a mix node right there and that's what i did put those right there plug the color of the first two into the a the color of the second two into the B, and I plug the color of the second two into the specular so that, oop, that's not what I wanted to do, <laughs> so that when you take a look at this on an angle where it's like shiny, you can see it doesn't like, you know, the shine doesn't go inside of that scratch, and I, I didn't want it to go inside of the scratch there, so if you take a look at this darker piece right here, it doesn't go, the shine does not go into that scratch, which is what I wanted, there you go, um, and then the last one down here, the third, uh, the third uh, set goes into the second mix shader into the B, and then the first mix shader goes into the A of the second mix shader, and that goes all into the base color, down here, down here is a really shiny cool part, this is, you don't need this if you don't want to do it, you, you don't have to, because this is what makes it shiny, so if you don't want it to be shiny, you don't have to do this part, um, but this, like, it looks like this without it, so it's like super, it's like, it's still shiny, but it's just super dull, I feel like, and I feel like I want to do something to kind of make these colors pop a little bit, and kind of make it uh, look a little cooler, so what I did was essentially, I took a noise texture, um, these are the values, nothing crazy, detail all the way up, um, and then I plugged the color into the roughness, and I grabbed the bump texture, which is shift a search and then bump right there boom put that there and then i plug the color into the normal and the color into the roughness um and then i plug the normal of the bump into the normal of the principal bsdf and uh and that is that so then it looks like uh, it looks like this so it has that nice shine on it and it doesn't go into the um into the cut still because if i don't put this into the roughness you can see that it kind of yeah it does some weird stuff there so kind of makes it pop a little bit looks really cool I like it quite a bit. I think it looks pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's like a nice, shiny, kind of scratched up brick, um, which I like quite a bit. We can like make it like this shape and like pull it out like that. You know what I mean? Like you know, stack them. You know, like that, and then move it, like rotate like that. Oh yeah, look at those bricks. 
Very cool stuff. But um, but yeah, that's basically it for today's material. Super simple one, super cool one. Um, like I said, if you want it to be a little less shiny, what you can do is just unplug that roughness there. Um, and uh, and you might be able to unplug this specular as well. I think you can plug. Um, I think you can plug. Oh, oh, there you go. I think you can. You see how it's still shiny like that. I think if you go ahead and turn the specular down, and if the roughness doesn't doesn't really do too much. Other than uh, with this, obviously, unless the uh, specular is up. But even when it's when the specular is all the way up, the roughness kind of just determines the brightness of it and doesn't really take away in the in the shine. It's kind of cool. I kind of like that. It's kind of it's kind of unique in a way. So um so yeah, you can turn the specular all the way down. You don't have anything that's shiny there. You super super matte finish as it were, and you still have that nice uh kind of kind of bump. Uh, on there as well, which is very subtle without the uh, without the shine. But but that is it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the, the difference. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.